what's going on people who everything's okay in this world and where we live in today so today we're going to talk about az500 and a lot of people go how hard was it well for me freaking hard you know why because i'm not custom security you know what i mean it takes a different perspective of your how you say your technical expertise to understand how security things are laid or you know procedures and processes and stuff like that. but it wasn't hard it, it wasn't unachievable it was achievable i gotta say you know there's nothing that you can't really achieve as long as you put your mind to it so what am i going to show you today basically the materials of which i have used to pass my az500 qualification and hopefully i could get you to pass too so just to let you know that if you want to receive any reminders, notifications, or any updates of any videos that I've created that's helped you or help others pass your qualifications, then please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button so that we can actually get more traction on and I can be doing this full time for you folks. So back to the show. So basically what it is, is that is that 500 for me was difficult but as i said as long as i stuck to the materials and and the materials being the two ways to prepare is my online free training from microsoft and also some practice tests from wiz labs i was a sure it was a sure pass now word warning wiz labs is not a brain dump it's not a brain dump don't go in there trying to recite revise remember the questions and then the answers to the questions thinking that they will appear on the exam it's not the case which allows is a means for you to actually exercise to see if you actually know what you're doing and it's a good training material so that you can actually pass the exam knowing that you did it on your own skills plain and simple and that's what you want to do do not do brain dumps. I hate it when people do brain dumps. You know why? Because it ends up just being a piece of paper to say you pass a qualification. You don't add value to yourself. You don't add value to anyone. Any one of your friends who's actually passing qualifications five or six a month, five or six exams a month, or you know something ridiculous like 12 to 15 exams a year, is doing dumps. There's absolutely no way that you could be a professional full-time employment monday to friday and doing like 12 15 exams a year and passing them i don't think so not without dumps and it's not you know laugh at them if you pass two or three exams a year and you did it on your own merit give yourself a pat on the back you know why because you are knowing for sure that you're adding value to yourself and the qualification you've rightfully achieved so how do we rightfully achieve this is f500 really simple you just basically punch in az 500 into your respectful browser. You will come across to Microsoft. Um, we call this now the original qualifying, you know, the actual materials from Microsoft. And it will tell you what are the percentage for you to pass the exam. So the pass mark for this exam is 700 out of 1000. I was given something like two and a half hours, three hours to sit the exam. I did it from whom? Really easy for you to do your testing from whom. You just make sure that everything is blank. You know, you sit in a chair, the desk in front of you has got no monitors, it's got nothing on the table, it's got nothing on, on the side, nothing to left, nothing to right, nothing behind. It's got to be a blank environment. Okay. Now, the way you could actually do it is to sit on a bed and with no pillows, no sheets. That's one way that I've done it in the past. Or you can sit in a room that's being decorated and there's like nothing, anything but just a chair. You still want to look underneath the chair, by the way. But the point being is, those are things that you can actually do. So let's, let's I digress a little bit, but you know, hopefully I'll give you some content that you can be happy about. This is what I've done. So I've done each and every single one of these modules. As you can see, there is a green tick to say that I've completed each and every single module, right? And once I've done that, I felt more or less prepared for the exam. I combined it at the same time of doing Wiz Labs um, practice test exams, such as this. This is Wiz Labs free test. So, you know, this is something that 
anyone can publicly go and look at and actually sample for yourself. So I feel confident that I can share this with no retribution. Anyway, you know, and here is the question that that's being asked. You could pause this, read it, and then guess. It is question. You know, the answer is, if you don't want to know, just press pause now. And let me show you the answer. It is C. And the great thing about Wiz Labs, it actually gives you really good description as to why. This is copy and pasted from Microsoft. And here is an official Microsoft actual URL for you to go on and do more reading on that. Why fun within the user, within the AZF 500 qualification as well was um, there were questions on networking, like how were you secure networking? How would you actually um, privilege identity management, you know, um, on the VNets, on the ports? And these are all things for you to brush up. But word of warning, word of warning, things change, okay? And the thing is, is that as long as you feel, as long as you find the skills measured and the skills metrics, and you go through each and every single one of them, I feel as though that you've really gemmed up on what's being asked, then you shouldn't have a problem. Well, Azure Bastion is, is something else I actually had in there. No, I didn't see much about web application firewalls. Oh, I had one question about Azure Front Door, and that was, um basically about you know you want to be able to have some sort of not web application firewall but ddos protection and stuff like that and what would be the better tear for you to have and the zero front door was there um that 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 was definitely the thing oh ap application security security groups definitely got some of that in there for sure i've got some virtual machines nothing on aks but it must be a pool of questions you know what i mean you're going to get some people who don't get AKS, some people who do. I didn't. Um, didn't get anything on Azure Centennial. Um, nothing about Azure policy. But I did I did for sure get something on Bastion. Some SQL questions as well, how to secure that. I got a lot of key vault questions, like you know, if you want to be able to, you know, secure application and you don't want people to be able to see plain text, usernames, passwords, what can you do? Key vault. It's an associate, it's really easy to pass in my opinion, if you are accustomed of being in security and using the majority of the security tools within Microsoft. And other than that, that's about it, you know? Hey, let me give you a word of reassurance. If I could pass it, you are gonna pass it. Really simple, just do the work, you'll be fine. Thank you very much for watching. I gotta go back to my day job. See you soon.